Good morning, John. It's Wednesday, March 3rd, and I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that Viacom has decided to not show The Daily Show and The Colbert Report on Hulu anymore, and so I just have this to say... Viacom! And the good news is that we have finished the preliminary schedule for VidCon! So now you can actually see what's going to be going on. And since I've been doing it myself, it's hard to, like, get distance from it, but every once in a while I'm just like, holy crap. All of this stuff is actually going to happen. And those are the moments I realize how it's going to be worth all the trouble and how extremely excited I am about this happening. John, in reference to your last video, I have to say, you know, I really don't like to agree with you on stuff, so I'm gonna start out by disagreeing with you. I watched The Marriage Ref, and I didn't think that it was that bad. It might just be that I have this gigantic and kind of creepy and appropriate man crush on Jack Donaghy slash Alec Baldwin, but I thought it was entertaining and I don't think anybody was taking it seriously. Compared to The Bachelor, this is freaking fantastic. I mean, at least they're not trying to get them married. They're already married before they get to the reality show. That's fine with me. But of course, this doesn't mean that Jeff Sucker is right about anything that he says about YouTube. I think he's probably right about plenty of the things that he thinks about TV, because it's his job to think about TV. And having Jeff Zucker talk about YouTube is kind of like having Tiger Woods host the marriage ref, you know? He's astoundingly unqualified and absolutely clueless. Because guess what? YouTube isn't a new way of experiencing old things. And that's what Jeff Zucker thinks. He thinks that YouTube is just a new version of America's Funniest Home Videos without Bob Saget, which is probably, in terms of how America's Funniest Home Videos is gonna go, you know, better. But all you really have to do is ask Jeff Zucker to go check out the top 20 most subscribed channels on YouTube and see that 19 of those channels are creating kinds of content that doesn't have a name because they didn't exist five years ago. Most of it is what I started to call social video. Even when it's Miley Cyrus vlogging, it's still a personal interaction. It's not the same kind of entertainment that these people are used to. It's not reality television, it's what we call reality. Even if it's Shane Dawson playing a character, it's still Shane Dawson doing something that you, if you were as talented as Shane Dawson, could do. It's just him. He doesn't have editors or writers or a marketing budget. It's just Shane. It's a completely different way of communicating and being entertained. It's a completely new type of video. It's about authenticity and connecting on a different level. It's about being entertained in a far more deep and interesting way. And all of this adds up to why I'm interested in having VidCon exist. I honestly believe that there is something interesting and important going on here on YouTube. What I feel like VidCon is about is getting together the people that understand what's going on, not Jeff Zucker. You know, he's not invited. Well, he is invited. He could come if he wants. But I want the people who do understand to get together so we can talk about it, we can learn about it, we can get ready for what's coming next, and we can plan what that's gonna be. And most of all, I want to celebrate it because I really think it's worth celebrating. So that's why we're mixing together more serious talks like Zay Frank talking about the importance and legitimacy of his relationship with the virtual and just plain entertaining and fun stuff like Rhett and Link writing a song on stage with your input and Mystery Guitar Man making a stop motion music video with sounds that you make. Everyone from the SXE Phil to the community channel. There will be dozens of meetups and classroom sessions during the breakouts. And YouTube, the folks from the actual company of YouTube will be there as well to take suggestions from us and to talk about what YouTube is and what they're trying to do and how they feel about what we're doing with this platform that they've given us. Dance parties and concerts and karaoke and sword swallowing juggling acts, which for real, that's what there's gonna be a sword swallower there. The 9th and the 10th are gonna be absolutely packed with stuff, and then the 11th we're leaving open for people to design and do their own things with. There's obviously way too much to talk about here, but the schedules for the 9th and the 10th are up on VidCon 2010. There's a link in the doobly-doo, and you can go now and see it all. John, I will see you tomorrow.